This learning activity is about database design. And database design is a way to graphically demonstrate, present the database. There are three different perspectives. Uh, conceptual database design, logical database design, and physical database design. And these move from the higher level to the more detailed level and they're used for different purposes. So con conceptual database designs are simple and from a really high level and are often used to interact with the business people and people who aren't technically um, versed in databases themselves. So it's, it's a format where you can use for conversation with people that are um, less of an expert in the actual database. And then as you move towards logical and physical, you start adding more and more details. And these details are more related to the very specifics of the database and get more and more technical and become a conversation piece for the technical people on the team. In our case, we are going to, they really vary how they define what each one of these are and where the lines are drawn between them. So I've made really simple, uh, concrete differences. So it'll be hopefully straightforward for you to see what the differences that we're going to use are. So for our conceptual database, we're going to add entities and relationships. And then we'll build on, we're going to do these in order, and then we'll build on um, the entities and relationships as we've defined, and we'll create a logical database design, and we'll add to the entities and relationships, we'll add attributes and keys, both private keys and foreign keys. And then we'll move to the physical database design. And in this design, we will use the things that we already have, entities, relationships, attributes, and keys. And we will add data types that are specific to our database management system that we're using and constraints. Now, another a name for these diagrams are called a really common name is ERDs, which stands for Entity Relationship Diagrams. And they come in really two very different styles. And so when you see them, so here's, uh, let me just show you a couple. Here's the one that has the entities, relationships, and attributes. Here it is, entities, relationships, and attributes. Notice how they're distinctly different. And um, these ones look more like database tables. These ones look more like flow charts. But they're two very distinct ones. We are going to use, uh, we're going to do both. Here's another picture of very distinctly different. We are going to use this flowchart approach for our conceptual database design. And then we're going to move to this table layout, uh, more of the UML version for our logical and physical database designs. So we'll get some exposure to using both of these. And just up front, I want to let you know that there are lots of variations. As you look on the internet for examples, you're going to see these two distinct styles. But within each style, you're going to see lots of variations about how the connections are made, how multiplicity is demonstrated, what's labeled, what's not, variations kind of in the shapes. Anyway, you're going to see lots of variations. To help with that, I've defined um, a specific key to the ones that we're going to use. So we'll be using crow's feet notation to identify the relations and the multiplicities. When we're doing the flowchart version, we're going to use squares and diamonds and ovals. And by the way, I remember the attributes are not included in our um, conceptual database design, so they become optional. Um, they're still handy if you want to add them for information as you're sorting through these, you can. And then later when we use the conceptual and, I mean, the logical and the physical database designs, we'll use these kind of tables. So here I've made this key that's available, so we will maintain consistency in what we do in this course.